In this video I'm going to show you how to do blanket stitch and I'm going to show it to you on a couple of different projects because it's a little bit different depending on whether you do the stitch on part of a flat piece of work or around the edge. First I'm showing you on a flat piece of work and in that case I start with a knot at the end of the thread. I'm left-handed so don't feel like you have to use the same hands as I'm using. I come in from the back to the front and my first stitch will actually start just beside this. So we go in from the front and out where you want the top of the stitches to be and then put the thread around the needle before you pull the needle right through. Again in and then out where you want the top of the stitch to be and the thread goes around the needle before you pull the needle through. So you can see it makes stitches going straight out and then a straight row of thread along the top joining the stitches together. Okay, now we'll speed this up to get through a few stitches faster. Okay, we're getting near the end. And so for the final stitch, I just line everything up so that the line on the outside continues around. Go through to the back and then tie it off. knot it by going underneath a stitch and then through the loop and I usually do that twice. And then I'll just cut the end. And you can see the line around. With the heart that's not blanket stitch. So here I'm just showing you that you can just do this stitch in the middle of a piece of fabric. It doesn't have to be around the edge of a shape and the line across the top is a bit more obvious in this case. So now I'm going to show you blanket stitch around the edge of a shape. I've got two small hearts here that I'm going to stuff so it's going to be a very tiny little Christmas decoration and this time I've left a loop on the bottom of my thread and I'm going through it because I don't want to have a knot showing and by using this method it is starting with the thread up the top. So we go through from front to back and around. It's exactly the same stitch, but instead of going in and then out of the fabric, you're going in and the top is the outside of the shape. You see that my finger is at the back there, so all the time I'm pushing the top thread up to try to help that to sit neatly around the edge and not drift towards the back. Blanket stitch is a very good stitch to use on the outside of small stuffed felt shapes. Okay, 
Okay, we'll speed up the video here for a little while. And just slowing down at the point so that you can see how I do this. I like to put a stitch right onto the point so that the line that goes around the outside of the shape goes down to the point and then back up. But you do need to fiddle with the thread a little bit to put it in the right place. Okay, now I'm going to stuff this. It's a very small shape and a very little bit of stuffing, so it's a bit hard to get in. The end of the pencil was the best way to get it in there, but it did take a bit of fiddling. Okay, now I need to push the stuffing a lot further in so that I can hold that outside bit flat to finish the stitching. This is a little bit easier usually on a larger shape. I'm just poking it in with the needle. Okay, now we get to the end. And I'm going to knot this. And you could leave it like this and put your needle through and put, pull it through so that the thread is hidden inside. But in this case, it, I'm going to hang it on a Christmas tree. So after I've done the first knot, I make a loop with the thread and do a second knot so that this loop won't pull through. And then I put the needle through, pull it out near the bottom of the shape and then if you pull just a little bit before you snip it, the end of the thread goes back inside the shape. Now I just play with it a little bit to pull that outside line nicely around the edge and that one's done. So here's a couple more shapes. You can see blanket stitch around the outside. On those shapes on the inside, they're not blanket stitch, they're a whip stitch. This one also has blanket stitch on the outside and here in the green, that's blanket stitch but I've changed the length of the stitches all the way around to make a pattern. 